Okay, just a very quick presentation to show how you can use scikit-learn to generate some toy data so that you can just practice with, okay? So there's other ways, there's inbuilt data sets like Boston and Iris and so on, and you can import them and practice on them, but it's also possible to generate some sort of examples for yourself. So you can try out clustering analyses, regression, classification problems with a data set you made up. Challenge yourself a bit. Okay, so the key thing we're going to look at here is the, uh, I'll just zoom that up a bit, is from scikit-learn datasets, import make classification or make regression or make blobs, okay? So it's a, one of these three ex uh, examples. So it's just as you practice and get better at this, you realize what you need to do or you know, you can fine tune fine tune what you need to do after the fact. Okay. So let's just have a quick look at a classification problem. Now the main sort of uh set of things you need to do. Yeah, okay. Sorry, just actually a little bit of background. I'm using Azure Machine Learning Notebooks on Azure.com. Okay. And so I've set up a little library for myself and I've just I'm using Python three point six and that's it. I'm just ready to run this. Don't have to install anything. Just logged in here. Uh, so I'm just going to run that there. Um, from scikit-learn data dot data sets, make uh, import, make blobs, and make classification, and so on. So let's just run a few of these here. So uh, x and y make classification. So I'm going to have 500 samples with n equals uh, 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 six features. Okay. So let's just run that. Okay. So my features are my predictor variables, as they're called in statistics. There we have them there. That's the, the first case. This, this, uh, these values here. Okay. And second case and so on. Okay. Now, um, yeah, so the, those are the six predictor variables for, uh, for X and Y. Now, because this is a classification procedure, we're going to get binary categories there, zeros and ones. Okay. And what you could do after that is, you know, uh, fit a model, like a logistic regression model or something like that. I'll do it in a different video when I'm talking about logistic regression or something like that. But essentially, there's your data, and then you just fit the model. Okay. So that was quite simple. That's where you get some data. Now, um, if you go to the... Um, the... Um, help file... Like, I just sort of grabbed this from the help file and tried out a few values there. Uh, you know, essentially, there's more things you can do, like N informative, N redundant, N repeated, N classes, okay, N features. So you can sort of have a look at those. Now, it's a sort of, this is where the, you really need to have a look at the um, not the documentation to really get the most out of this, to just to sort of dis decide what your problem needs or what, but... Uh, uh, you can look at that later on. Anyway, so here we have a three-class problem, uh, zeros and ones, and also twos, and so on, you know, so. Oh, and X, let's have a look at X. So that, those are the outputs. We have 100 outputs, um, mostly twos there, but a couple of ones and a couple of zeros, okay? Um, actually, let's just change that to not 0.25 and not 0.25. So just to sort of give you a sense of um, what the output should look like. So it's mostly twos, uh, with ones and zeros. So it's like 25% for one, or the zeros, 25% for the ones, and then 50% for the rest. So if I was to change it a bit now to, let's say, uh, 70 and 20, that means we get 10% twos. Roughly, yeah, there's only a handful of twos there. It's mostly, that's what the weights one is, okay? The random state, let's have a look at that. One, two, three, four. Let's run it again. So, remember, uh, two, zero, zero, one. Run it again. Two, zero, zero, one, okay? I'm just running the one above it again, just to sort of make it reproducible, essentially, Okay. Um, there's a couple of other ones there I think are like uh, I don't they're not as useful to me as I mean uh, I mean I'm not going into any great detail I just want some toy data to work with okay but that's handy to know 
Um, so regression as well, we can do a regression. So uh, really, it's actually quite similar. Rather than make classification, we make regression. Now, a couple of the, um, for example, down here, bias. There's a couple of different things. There's a couple of different options here that you can work with. Effective rank, coef equals true. There's a couple of thing, different things here, but essentially, there we go. Uh, make some data. This is a uh, four features for predictor variables. Okay. And let's see what that looks like when we uh, look at y. Y is essentially uh, well. Let's let's just dial this down to 100 to make it easier to read. Y is um, 100 numeric outputs. Okay, 100 numeric values. Okay. Um, so uh, there's other things you do, like uh, add in some bias, add in some noise and stuff like that. But again, you sort of really know, need to know what the regression problem is or, you know, have a proper discussion of that. So that, there's other things you can do that really you need to know about the regression first. And then you can come back to this and sort of think, ah, yeah, that's how we do that. That's how we can add in that data. Um, let's just go, I'm going to add in. Um, so I have X, Y, C. Let's just see what C is here. So that is the uh, 10 features. Let's make that a little bit easier to look at. Four features, uh, number and formatives equals, get rid of that. So what we have here is uh, the re essentially the regression equation, okay, uh, that you can just add in. So you can add in coef equals true. So uh, you have the regression equation down there, so you have the x variables and the y variables, and that's you can using those values there. You can make the regression equation. Uh, one more, just gonna go down here a little further. I'm gonna sort of skip pa skip past this now. Blobs sort of for cluster analysis essentially. Okay, so we have x and y. Y is just a membership of a cluster. Okay, and x is just the sort of coordinates of the. Uh, so the uh, coordinates of the cluster. Okay, so um, random state. Yeah, that's it, really. So there's a couple of different things here you can do. Centers. So again, n samples, 80 samples. Center is equal to. Let's have a look at this. Insert below or insert above. Uh, y equals, what is the output of y? 2, 1, and 0, 0, and all that. Okay. So it is Yep, okay. Went on along there.